What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing one of my favorite weather combos of all time, Exedril and Titar in Ranked Regulation F. Now, Exedril, making its return from the Indigo Disc DLC, can pair up with Titar really well due to its ability Sandbush. It's going to be able to double its speed in the Sandstorm, making it outspeed most Pokemon, pair that up with its high physical attack stat, it is in for some big time trouble. It's got clear amulet as item, protect, high horsepower, rock slide, and sword stance. Loving this moveset right here. You got a stab move, you got a coverage move, and a way to boost your physical attack. Really can't go wrong with that. This T-Tar set, pretty standard as well with Sandstream and Assault Vest, Rock Slide, Low Kick, Assurance, and Terra Blast. Two more Pokemon on today's team is going to be the Dragonite and Shen Pao combo. Always so solid, can never go wrong with it. Dragonite's got the E-Speed, Shen Pao's got the Swords of Ruin. It just pairs up too perfectly. Our final two Pokemon on today's team, first one is going to be Ogre Pond with the Wellspring Mask, pretty much there to kind of redirect moves with Follow Me and hit hard with Ivy Cudgel, and Tornadus is here for a little bit of support action. We've got Sandstorm, Frequent Storm, Tailwind, and Sunny Day, so get some speed control and keep weather control on our side of the field. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one. Match number one coming at you guys, and we're definitely going to have to bring in our weather control. They got Arch Ludon, and they got Tornadus, and Urshfu, which means rain squads ready to go. Final Pokemon they have is going to be Lucario alongside with Landorus. So, again, weather control going to be our friend. Do we lead Titar? Do we lead Exegel? I could. I definitely could. That might be my play. I mean, ground typing is going to be great for us, but they're probably just going to try to pop a rain dance. And at this point, I do have a dragon terror type, which I actually really, really like. So I'm going to go extra drill here. I'm also going to go in with Tornadus just so I can have Tailwind control as well. And in this matchup, we're not going to be bringing in T-Tar. We already have this Pokemon, Tornadus, to set the Sandstorm. So I really like that. So in the back end, I could go Ogre Pond. That's something I kind of like just to deal with the Urshfu. And on top of that, I could go Shen Pao. And I kind of like that a bit more. So yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go a little unorthodox here with the Exedral and Tornadus, not the Exedral and Titar. And we're going with Shen Pao Ogre Pond instead of Shen Pao Dragonite. So hopefully grab ourselves a win here in match number one. And look to get ripping. Look to get ripping. But guys, I was checking my analytics. Over 50% of my viewers are not subscribers. So if that's one of you guys, definitely consider subscribing. It really goes a long way. It helps me grow as a content creator. So again, make sure you guys check. See if you're subscribed. If not, definitely consider it. But they're gonna lead uh I was gonna say extra. They're gonna lead Archer Ludon alongside with Tornadus. We got the extra ready to roll. Um I love our typing here, I really do. I'm just gonna pop a nice lovely sword stance here. And I might terrestrialize you just so you don't die out to an electro shot, right? So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna pop a tail. Wait, did I try? I gotta make sure I terrasize this. I don't want him dying out to an electro shot, right? I'm gonna set up Tailwind. They're probably gonna pop a rain dance most likely. So we'll see what they wanna do here. I'm gonna pop a sword dance as well. I'm definitely popping a sword dance. We'll see what he wants to do with Archer Ludon here as well. Archer Ludon's looking a little scary, right? Archer Ludon definitely looking a little scary. It could terrasize if it wants to. It could definitely terrasize. But I'm gonna terrasize my Tornadus just in case. They want to pop Rain Dance this first turn, and then just go into a uh, Electro Shot. Definitely a possibility, but they but they're going to Terrasalize Archer Lee down here. And actually, no, it's going to be Tornadus, and they're going to go into a Dark type Tornadus. So maybe they think I'm taunting them. I don't know. I really don't know here. Let's see what they end up doing here. Now comes the Tailwind on my end. I'm going to be able to pop a nice lovely Sword Stance. And we'll see if he's body pressing first turn, because body press looking scary here as well. She's gonna go for an icy wind. So he's just gonna icy wind slow me down a little bit. I'm gonna set the sandstorm up next turn, and we'll see what Arch Ludon wants to do here. We're just gonna go for an Aurora Spin, which we should so we do on really low HP. Really low HP. So from here, I have Sword Sand set up. I'm just gonna go into high horsepower here. I'm gonna set the sandstorm. I am just going to set the Sandstorm. So he's definitely going to Icy Wind me down again. I'm going to set the Sandstorm just to get my speed up again. Just in case he tailwinds. I'm going to look to just dump on this Arch Lee. The Sandstorm coming out here. Extra Drill should go first. Well, other than that, Tailwind. 
Extra drill should go first, attacking wise, I should say. And high horsepower should rip into this Arch Lunite, getting rid of it. That's massive. That's huge. That's huge. So we know. Um, actually, no, we're fastest on the field. Wait. We know our extra drill is definitely fastest on the field, which is huge. So as long as we don't have a first turn priority Pokemon coming out here, we should be able to get off another big turn with our extra drill. That'd be massive. Just one more turn, and now they're just gonna bring out Lucario. So Lucario comes flying out here. Um, I could protect the turn if I really want to, and that might be my play. Just protect the turn and try to get a Bleak Wind Storm off. Because, again, Lucario is probably going for... Probably going for, like, E-Speed or something to try to get rid of Extral. So at this point, we're just going to protect Extral. We're going to drop a Bleak Wind Storm. Look to get off some damage before Extral does drop out here. Now they're going to set a Rain Dance. Ooh. Rain Dance comes out. You got to be going after Extral, right? You have to be. Yeah, see? They're going for first time priority regardless. So out comes Rain Dance just to get rid of the Sandstorm. And I can actually set... I could set the Sandstorm again and keep weather control, but I just think Bleak Wind Storm's going to be our play all day, right? I just think Bleak Wind Storm's going to be our play all day here. Yeah, we're going to keep firing off Bleak Wind Storms, and if they allow me to, I would love to pop a Rock Slide, but I'd rather just get rid of the Lucario. So I'm going to go Bleak Wind Storm. I'm not going to set up the Sandstorm. He's going to bullet punch me regardless, so ends up just withdrawing Tornados, which is huge because our Tailwind ends very soon, and I should be able to get off another Tailwind here. He's going to go in the Comfy here. I don't mind it one bit. And we'll see what Lucario wants to do here. This goes for the Bull Punch. So yeah. He just looks to take out my extra, which they do. And extra actually gets off a ton of value. So now they're sitting here with two support Pokemon. Two support Pokemon. And we get rid of Lucario with a crit. So that's pretty much a W for us, right? Two support Pokemon, Comfy and Tornadus. They literally have no way of attacking us. And extra drill thrives out in match number one. Should say Extral and Tornadus, because Tornadus actually worked in Wonders here. So in this matchup, I'm just gonna go into actually Ogre Pond here. Works really well. They got the rain set up for us. So now Ogre Pond's doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And they're gonna bring out their final Pokemon, which is Tornadus. So we are thriving. We are thriving. Hot start for today's video. Real hot start. From here, I'm just gonna Ivy Cudgel down this Comfy, and I believe our Tailwind did end, correct? Yeah, our Tailwind did end, so you know what? I might as well set up another one. So we'll go Tailwind here, and they're going to go for a Helping Hand Bleak Wind Storm. Helping Hand Bleak Wind Actually, this might KO me. This might KO me, but I still have Shen Pao in the back end. This might just KO me. Actually, we outspeed, so that's beautiful. Ogre Pond outspeed and taking out the copy, no problem. Get it on out of here. Get it on out my face. Get it on out my game. Let me get rid of you. I think this Bleak Wind Storm KOs the Ogre Pond, right? Yeah. Yes, it does. Terrifying. Real terrifying. And now we're sitting here with our boy Shen Pao. He has no moves to actually one hit KO us and we can win this match, no problem. Plus our tailwind at it, so they're gonna have to waste a turn going for tailwind if they want to outspeed us. And now I bring out the Shen Pao. I get the Swords of Ruin cooking. Now we say night night, and we're gonna go for a hundred percent accuracy move with our sacred sword. And then Bleak Wind Storm on top of that in the rain. So finally, battle was cancelled. We're sitting one and oh. Time for match number two, ladies and gentlemen, going up against a Kobalion team. Kobalion, really cool Pokemon with Justified as his ability. So they probably have a beat up user somewhere alongside of this team to actually pair up with that Justified Kobalion, get that attack to plus four and really get rolling from there. They also have a weather control user with Tornadus, so I might actually do the same thing as I did in that last matchup. Go extra drill, go in with Tornadus, Kind of set the sandstorm that way if need be set up a tailwind as well and then kind of get after it that way and that's something i really like i actually really like this combo right here over top of titar and exigil because i can actually set up tailwind and sandstorm in two turns which is amazing it is really good but from here i'm probably just gonna bring shen pao and dragonite here they have shen pao and entei so this is a good little combo here to kind of counter what they have as well so again really do like this we're gonna lock it in and we're gonna lock it down Let's get after it here in match number two. But my only problem with this extra drill set is we don't have Iron Head on it. So now Fluttermane's kinda, kinda can survive a little bit longer, right? But most of the time they think we have Iron Head. So they're either gonna protect, they're gonna swap out, but we just don't have it. And sometimes I like to have that just to rip into the fairy types, right? And pretty much Fluttermane is the only main fairy type that really sees the light here in ranked regulation F. So yeah, it kind of makes sense not to put Iron Head on here, but I really just would love to have Iron Head. It's just such a good move. It's such a good move, especially because it's Stab on x -Gel. Yeah, I love it, right? I always love Iron Head. Let's see who they end up 
leading here. It is going to be their Tornadus alongside with Kabali. Again, really scary here. I do have a ground move to actually rip up into Kabalion. He's a steel and fighting type, correct? Yes, so he's steel fighting. Um, I think I'm just going to go Tailman here. I could go Sandstorm if I want to. It really don't matter, but I'd rather Sandstorm up after the fact. So I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to go High Horsepower here. Let's get it. Tailwind, High Horsepower, Exit Drill, getting after it. Last matchup, we set, we did set up a Sword Stance, but this matchup, we're not doing it. We're getting right after the action, dropping High Horsepowers, looking to do some big-time damage. So we'll start off with the Tailwind instead of starting off with the Sandstorm, because if we start off with the Sandstorm, then next turn, he can just Rain Dance it. Whereas if we use it next turn, then we have a chance to actually KO that thing and get after it. But he's going to Terrastalize the Tornadus. Tornadus is going to go straight water. Straight water with Tornadus. Don't tell me this is a Terra Blast Tornadus, right? That'd be crazy. That'd be actually crazy. No, it's just Terrastalize and it kind of dodge the rock slides, I guess. So he Tailwinds up. I say, hey, yo, you're not the only one Tailwinding. And I'm going to pop a Tailwind as well. So we go Tailwind for Tailwind. Very solid on our end. And Iron Defense is going to pop out here for Kabalion. Okay, now we're getting a little crazy. Now we're getting a little crazy here. High horsepower going through Fly here. And, oh, dude, the damage soak up there is absurd. And you got weakness policy? No, you got leftovers. Okay, so Sword Sands probably should have been our play more so than anything. Wow. So from here, do I just pop a Bleak Wind Storm? And I go for a Sword Sands here? I think that's going to be my play instead of setting up the Sandstorm. There's a chance he might go for another Iron Defense here. With those leftovers, he might be doing that. So I'm going to Sword Dance up here. I'm going to try to get this thing set up. And he's going to go for a Sunny Day. So Sunny Day is going to be popping. Probably just for later turns. Bleak Wind Storm is still going to fly here. Do some nice damage across the board. Let's see what Cabalion's going for here. He just goes for a Body Press. Yeah, and he's going to take me out. So dang, I should have set up that Sandstorm. I should have just set up that Sandstorm and went after him. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Got a bit too greedy with my sword stands. Definitely got a bit too greedy. So I can change up weather if I want to. Um, who should I go into from here, though? Got two physical attackers. Uh, huh. A little tough on our end. I got the choice man on that, so I'd rather wait that out. So I think I'm just gonna go into Shen Pao. Yeah, so Shen Pao's gonna fly out here. I could terrestrialize it. And just try to dump onto that Kabalion. But I think from here, we just go for a Bleak Wind Storm. The Sunny Day isn't really helping out anybody, right? I think it's more so for Protosynthesis Pop later in the game. So I'm just going to do that. And I think I'm just going to Terrasalize and try to dump on this Kabalion. I don't know if we can. I don't think we can. Actually, there is a hot chance we can. Especially with Bleak Wind Storm pairing up with it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. So I'm going to Terrasalize. I'm going to go Stellar Terror type here. Kabalion with Iron Defense. Really cool little play there from our opponent. But yeah, I shouldn't have got greedy. I should have just popped the Sandstorm and went for high horsepower. Just chunk up some nice damage. Should have just done that. But instead, we're going for the lovely little Stellar Terror type. And he just protects. That's a smart little protect. Smart little protect coming out from him. Sacred Sword is going to get blocked. And let's see how much damage this Bleak Wind Storm. Hopefully this Bleak Wind Storm can actually land onto his Tornadus. But one of my Pokemon do dodge this, and it is going to be my Tornadus. I wish it was my Shen Pao. Love to get that HP on Shen Pao. The Bleak Wind Storm is going to fly, get blocked by Cavalier. Can it land onto his Tornadus? It does. It does. It's beautiful. That's some nice damage there. Um, I don't know if I changed up the weather yet. I do not know. No, we shouldn't. Let's just do exactly what we're doing. Go for Sacred Sword and go for another Bleak Wind Storm. So, yeah, we're doing the same thing. We're doing the exact same thing. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So, he could end up hard swapping into Fluttermain, and if that's the case, I wouldn't really mind, but he just tries to go for a double protect, which is kind of stupid. Kind of stupid, right? Take a sword, gonna fly out here. Will this KO? It does. Okay, so, actually, it wasn't that stupid to do. But still, I would think they would swap before trying to go for a double protect. So, he pick up the KO there. He's probably looking to rip another Bleak Wind Storm. He does, and who's dodging? Shen Pao, can you dodge this one? You do. Okay, so Shen Pao gets to dodge on this one. We really do like that. And Bleak Wind Storm is going to finish off their Tornado. So, hopefully Tailwind turns end, and I can just start setting up another one. But depending on who they go out into, I might have to change up weather. Because this sunny day, we'll pop Protosynthesis on Fluttermane. So I might just have to change it for, like, Rain Dance or something like that, right? 
I might have to. I might have to. So let's see. Shen Pao comes out on his side. And on top of that, it's gonna be Fluttermane. No, it's Ogre Pond. So what's the point of the sunny day? Just to make Bleak Wind Storms miss more? I don't mind the sunny day out here. Now I'm just gonna pop a Tailwind. Now I'm just gonna pop a Tailwind. They already used Terra. So I might just Ice Spinner this thing down. Or I could just protect you. And just wait to get out. You know who, right? Or I could attack. I'm just gonna protect you. I can see maybe a spike shield or protects coming out from his end. So yeah, he's gonna end up protecting Shen Pao. I protect my Shen Pao as well. And from here, I could set up Tailwind. And if they take out my Tornadus, then I could pair up Dragonite with my lovely Shen Pao. This is another solid match. We're having some good matches today. Ivy Colors are going in the Shen Pao slot. And now we're sitting really well here. So from here, I think we should double down in the Shen Pao, right? Bleak Wind Storm. Double down in the Shen Pao with Sacred Sword. I don't think Sucker Punch will KO us, right? It, uh, I don't think it will. He's going to go for eight double protected. Don't, this guy just loves to go for double protects. He just loves it. Sacred Sword's going to fly here. He's going to bring you down to Sash. And we have fingers crossed for Bleak Wind Storm landing. That crit didn't matter. That crit did not matter. It was Sashing him up anyway. It was Sashing him up anyway. Bleak Wind Storm, I need you here. I need you here. I love you, yo. When I need you most, you're coming in clutch. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up. We have Dragonite in the back end. I'm going to be able to E-speed and finish off this uh, Ogre Pond, no problem. But we're going to rock out here and go 2-0. and Ivy Culture flying, finishing us off. And honestly, the sunny day did absolutely nothing. I don't think we really missed any Bleak Wind Storms, right? Did we miss any? I don't think we did. I don't think we did. We were thriving with our Bleak Wind Storms today. Absolutely thriving. But now, get to bring out the boy, Choice Bandit choice bandit so he'll have no problem picking up KOs here and from here I can easily just pop that E speed and go into Bleak Wind Storm again E speed where you at there you are click that down they're gonna cancel battle there it is 2-0 dominating with X Jewel today we're looking to go 3-0 and ladies and gentlemen we're sitting 2-0 and back to back victories looking to go back to back to back going up against an Incineroar team with Porygon 2 Archer Ludon and no weather so this is just a probably like defense bulk stamina looking i don't know just body press arch loot on no rain here no rain we have full blown weather control so now is actually a good time for us to probably go t-tar extra drill right that's not bad that's not bad or i can go just extra drill alongside with maybe like somebody else because chances are intimidating to come out here but all my pokemon take intimidate pretty badly here you know what, screw it. We're just going to set the weather here. We're going to go into extra drill with T-Tar. And then in the back end, we're going to go into Ogre Pond. Just because I actually... Mm, do I really like it? I like it, but not really like it. We might want just want to go Shen Pao Dragon. You got the Sacred Sword. You got the Sucker Punches. E-Speed. Yeah, we're going in with the Double Combo Squad. We're going T-Tar, extra drill, Shen Pao Dragonite. Lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, huge shout out to everybody who makes it to the third and final battle. You guys are sitting here watching the third and final battle. Let me get a little bit of hashtag third and final battle squad down in the comment section down below. Let's me know who makes it this far, who's watching the video all the way through, and lets me know you're a real one. So, huge shout out to you guys watching the video this far. Man. But they go Frigoraph and they go Fluttermane, which I don't mind. I don't mind. I have lovely little extra drill on the field, and they probably think I have Iron Head. And guess what? I, I don't have Iron Head. I just don't. I just don't have it. I don't have it, so I'm going to either read a Protect or a Swap, and I'm just going to set up a nice big time Sword Stance for us. That's going to be my play. I don't have Iron Head. I wish I had Iron Head. I don't. I don't, and there's the Withdrawal. And that's why not having Iron Head actually works out in our favor, because they think we have it, but we don't. We're just going to set up a Sword Stance instead. They're just going to Intimidate me, which is fine. Which is fine. I don't mind that too much. I have Clear Amulet. And Sword Stance is out and about. Plus two X Drill in the Sandstorm. Are you going to trick him up, Frigograph? You got a nice little berry rock in here. Help you out with the dark moves. Wow, you soak that. No problem with the cobra berry. And you do end up popping a trick room. So trick room comes out here, and they're most likely going to fake me out, right? They're most likely going to fake me out on the external side. Or maybe just pop a flare blitz. So from here, I'm just going to protect 
Um, I'm just going to protect my Exegel here and swap Shen Pao for T-Tar. Because most likely here, I think maybe like a Fairy move will come out here. Which is kind of tough for Shen Pao. But what I want to do here is block or stop the fake out. So I'm going to protect the Exegel. And then next turn be able to Terrestrialize my Exegel and drop a Rock Slide next to Shen Pao. Which I can protect my Shen Pao. Because I would think they would go for fake out this turn. And then next turn, just go for a Flare Blitz, right? So we'll see. So I end up hard swapping into Shen Pao, getting rid of that uh, minus one attack on my T-Tar, and I just protect my little mole. Right? This thing's a mole? I believe it is. It goes for an ally switch instead. Good thing we have Rock Slide, because I'm popping Rock Slide next turn. It goes for ally switch, and he goes for Flare Blitz, which he blocks. So no Fake Out. He wants nothing to do with Fake Out. Nothing to do with Fake Out. <clears throat> which is totally fine. So Buffett's gonna slam around everybody on the field except for my extra drill. And from here, we will now just protect you just to keep the Swords of Ruin on the field. And we're gonna Terrasalize you and Dragon alongside with Pop and a Rock Slide. I know it's not Stab, but plus two can do some big time damage. They, they end up just hard swapping. They hard swapped the Instant Order. They saved the Intimidate for Ruin. And they're gonna go to Glacier, which is not bad for Rock Slide. Not bad for the Rock Slizzy. The Glacier actually thrives out pretty well. I might just want to protect Exegel next turn. Because now I'm a Dragon Terror type, and that's just awful. That's just terrible. That's just bad. So we got to waste out these tricking turns. We have to really start to get rid of this uh, for Rigorath. So I'm just going to end up protecting you. And he's gonna, just going to go for a Hyper Voice. Which I would have loved to have my Steel type even. My steel typing would be wonderful. Hyper Voice actually does a nice chunk of damage. Rock Slide's gonna connect. And it does good damage to Glacier, but Glacier's honestly pretty bold. The buff is gonna fly around here. Now's a great time for us to just protect the extra jolt again. And look to get rid of Probably for Rigoria, first and foremost, right? So I can first turn priority just the next turn. Yeah, there's two turns left in Jerk Room. And yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of Huh. Who would I rather get rid of here? Yeah, I'd rather get rid of Ferrigarath. So from here, I'm just going to go for an Ice Spinner. Ice Spinner will definitely rip up into you. And then I'm just going to protect the Exegel. Let's waste out these uh, turns. I'm going to protect him for Riggies. That really hurts his soul. That really hurts his soul. I might have to either go for Double Protect or Hard Swap Exegel next turn. I might Hard Swap Exegel even though we're plus two. So it's just a neutral turn here. I think I'm just going to protect the... I think I'm just going to protect the Shen Pao and just swap Exo into T-Tar. Right? I think that's our best play, because Sandstorm should end, so I'd rather just reset it. Keep the Buffets flying, right? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. Everyone's just taking huge chunks of damage from this. There's actually one turn left in Trick Room. I really don't want to swap them, too. I thought I was just going to go for Double Protect here. I'm just going to go for Double Protect. I don't know. You know what? No. We're just, we're just gonna play it safe. We're just gonna play it safe. We're gonna go straight into the uh, T Tar here, even though one turn is left in sand. So I'm gonna have to swap him again just to get that back out later. But it is what it is. It is what it is. You end up swapping for Riggies. Going into Flutterman here? Most likely. Incineroar comes out here. Smart little swap there. So that gives us a chance to swap. It gives us a chance to swap, what's it called? Shen Pao next turn. That's gonna be our play. We're gonna swap Shen Pao next turn. We're gonna have T-Tar rip up some damage. If we do that, Ice of Crash gonna fly into the T-Tar slot. Actually does a bit too much damage. A bit too much damage than I would have liked it to do. Maybe we should've just went for double protect. But that ends up happening here. Um, Trick Room is gone. And I think from here we can just go for Rock Slide. I think we still attack here. Trick Room's gone. And I think from here we still drop a, I think we go Rock Slide with this. I think we should go Rock Slide into... Into a Sacred Sword into this slot, right? Yes, Fake Out, but we'll see who he wants to Fake Out. Hopefully it's not the T-Tar. Hopefully it's not the T-Tar. The Trick Room is gone. I would love to get T-Tar out again, just so I can get Sandstorm back later. 
But we're kind of sitting in a weird spot because I don't have Iron Head and I know they have Flutter Me. Our opponent is actually playing really good in this matchup. This is a really good matchup for us. Really good matchup. The Fake Out comes into the Shen Pao slot. Not bad. I don't mind that because this Rock Slide should be able to finish off the Glacier and on top do some damage onto you. Beautiful. We love that. And I think next turn we might just, per depending on who they bring out here, right? Really depending on who they bring out here, I, uh, I have to hard swap. I have to hard swap. I have to hard swap. This is a bad position for me to be in. Real bad position for me to be in. And I think I'm just going to hard swap the T-Tar first and foremost. And just go for a Sucker Punch into Incineroar for the KO? Do we think it's going to KO? That's the real question. Do we think that's going to KO? I'd rather do some damage on the Fluttermane. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to swap into Extra Draw here. For the T-Tar so. I swap you. They might swap the Incineroar here. I'm gonna bring out the extra. I need I need the sandstone for later. So I have the dragon type. Oh, I forgot I had the dragon type. Oh no. Dazzling Gleam just rips me. I forgot I had the dragon terror type. Please don't be going for Dazzling Gleam. Please don't be going for Dazzling Gleam. He armor tails up here. Oh no, I forgot I had the dragon type. I totally forgot I had the dragon type. Very hurtful. Very painful. Very painful to say the least. Now we're sitting in just an awful position with T-Tar and Dragonite here. We lose this all day long. We lose this all day long to a bad swap by me. Because that thing had steel. This was my whole plan on that. I totally forgot it to Rasslide. So I was like, okay, that thing should be able to soak up a dash and gleam. And then from here, we can swap where we can get T-Tar out there. So I would then get T-Tar out there. And honestly, I was planning uh, that Sucker Punch actually coming out and then not swapping it for a Giraffe. And then, so at that point, Fluttermane would probably be a little bit above half. And then I could swap Shen Pao or I could just have T-Tar on the field with Extra Drill the next turn. Drop a big time Rock Slide, KO the Frigraph here and do some nice damage over there. And then, could have been thriving, but yeah, no. Just not happening. Just not happening. Now we don't have Terror type. I'm going to be forced to do that. And I think I'm just going to go into... I guess I'm choosing to stop a catcher, right? I can't use Outrage on that. I can't use E-Speed. I guess I'm using stop a catcher on that. I should have E-Speed. I was going to read e uh, the Terrasalize, but I can't E-Speed anyway. Yeah, I can't E-Speed with Armor Tail. And wow, I could have Outrage. I could have Outrage, but no. This is just not working out for us. Still a solid 2-1 video, but not happening. They end up protecting the Farigis. So Farigi gets to protect. That's a green flying. That's some damage. That's some damage right there. Yeah, it's game set match. Game set match. They just want to keep armor field or armor tail on the field, which was smart. So just protect the graph. Kind of get after it that way. And wow, the damage output. Absurd. Do I protect? Oh, dude, if I had protect on this thing. If I had protect, we had a hot chance of winning again. Actually, probably not. Because then I would have to protect E speed. I, I can't do any of that. Maybe they hard swap out. That's our only way of winning. I'm choice anyway in the stop catch. This one's over. I'm running this battle. GG's to our opponent. Solid set of matches for today's video. Every single battle went the distance, was very, very close, but we prevailed in two out of the three. Going two and one for today's video. That last one, definitely on me, but our opponent still played really, really well. I totally forgot about our Dragon Tiger type, swapped right into Extra, and next thing I know, Dashing Gleam's finishing me off. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.